Peace. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Sorry for the late start again. We have, you can imagine, it's been a long night um, and morning. I can't believe it's almost three. It's been a <laughs> the time. Afternoon. Is it? Oh my god. Um. So we've got. Let's see. So there's doggies. Um. We wanted to kind of take you around to our moms. No. Um, gosh, you. To Missy's you, puppies, gosh. and then to our new ones. Um. The, we have some temp updates to give, and with our luck, we're gonna have two litters today. Yeah. Um, so we'll start with Robin. Um, <laughs> Robin's temperature is follow following the same pattern as as Remy's did, where she dropped to 99.5 yesterday, and then she bumped right back up to like just under 100. No. 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 Um. She's also looking very full <laughs> and just very ready. She's just behaving like she's, um, let me just go in there and show you. Um, Myra, on the other hand, yeah. so Myra, here, let me flip around. Myra, on the other hand, um, she had a solid temp drop. We can safely call it a drop. This morning she was 98.8, like human temperature. Yeah. Um, so Myra is definitely dropping and we took that at about nine o'clock this morning. So, um, but we'll probably be seeing puppies from her probably pretty soon, um, this evening, maybe Robin. Yeah. So whenever I feel her, she gets real tense, almost acting like she's already in, like she's having early contractions yeah, like in her face. Yeah. <laughs> I want you guys to see. I feel like she's having a um, and whenever I, um, whenever I was like giving her belly rubs, she, she tenses up and just, you can tell that she just doesn't feel well. So, um, we were, we're I'm a little concerned that, so at first I was thinking Myra might go like right around now and Robin would be in the evening, but I'm thinking they might both be in the evening today. So, um, we're going to be live streaming Robin's delivery. Definitely. Myra's will probably, um, like pop in and out. Um, it won't be straight all the way through just because it's her first delivery. And oftentimes first deliveries are complicated. And, um, even for Remy, when she had her first litter, she just, she seemed bothered by the camera being there. And I think we ultimately shut it off because she, it, it was almost like stalling her labor. Yeah. Hey, Rio. Look how filthy you are. He is so dirty. Bomb. All the dogs are so excited for new puppies. <laughs> they have been so funny. They've been like freaking out. Um, I took Missy in there to say hi. And Remy has, she's so sweet because... When she sees one of the other dogs, she just starts wagging her tail and she looks up at them like, hey, it. yeah. Um, and Missy was, she was being so respectful. She was just standing on the outside of the pool. I'm sorry, she wasn't standing. She sat, she walked over, she sat down and she would kind of like whine. You know how dogs will whine when they want something. Um, she was just whining almost as if to ask like, can I touch? Can I see? Okay. Um, Myra, yeah, you too. Um, so I think Myra is definitely in early labor right now because you can't have that temp drop and and not, and not go into labor. Um, so, uh, <laughs> like I said, the description, the show must go on. Um, we, uh, what was I going to say? The, so that... Um, last night, um, I talked about it a little bit in the video, if you guys saw that, um, but Drew and I, we shut off the live stream at about 11, about 11, yeah, no, no, the third puppy was born at 11, and then we shut it off, like, probably about midnight, um, um, but, you know, we were still kind of unsure if she had puppies in there, so we kept the lights on. We didn't want to make ourselves too cozy because we would know we would pass out. We just fall asleep. And so um, I pulled up Timu on my phone and started playing. Since it was after midnight, I was able to start playing my next day of Timu. For those of you who Timu, you know what I'm talking about. 
Um, and so I did that to keep myself awake. I and was asleep. Drew was falling asleep, and I saw Remy pop out of the pool and kind of head over toward our bathroom. And so I asked her if she had to go potty, and she looked back at me with like the most strained look on her face. And so I like I I did one of these numbers to Drew and and was well you know Remy puppy puppy, puppy. and um, I ran over to her and the puppy was about half out. Um, Backwards. She was breech. It was she was feet first. Um, she was the, the deliverable breech though. That's so the puppies. There's a lot of breech positions. Um, most of them are pretty unsafe to deliver, but. The unsafe ones are less common. Um, so, yeah, Paris. <laughs> Paris. Looking at you, Paris. Um, but so, I keep stepping on that thing. Um, so we, the puppy was um, crowning and um, unfortunately, Remy, she was so tired from you know, if, if you were watching the live last night, then you guys, you, you have an idea of how much Remy went through for those three puppies. Um, she basically, when she conceived, she had four eggs and, you know, a more standard size litter for Remy's torso would be eight puppies, yeah, six, to eight. six to eight. And um, so those four puppies, they had a lot of room to just continue putting on weight. And usually the puppies, when they are newborns, they are kind of scrawny. Um, because they're all packed in there, but these puppies are all like the size of one week old puppies that we're used to seeing. Maybe um, two week old puppies. Yeah. Um, but anyway, back to the fourth puppy. So, um, we started, I mean, it was, we realized pretty quickly that it was somewhat of an urgent situation. Um, Remy was not pushing at all with any contractions. Um, and even her contractions were almost non-existent. Um, we could have given her more oxytocin, but we'd already given her a couple doses. So, I mean, it's kind of, it, it's, uh, if you've had, if you've had Pitocin, you know, it's kind of rough. Um, and honestly, she was so tired. I don't know if it really would have done anything except make her more miserable. So, um, Drew and I, um, I attempted at first to pull the puppy out, but unfortunately, when they're backwards, um, there's nothing to grab onto without injuring them. And so I was really, really nervous to be um, trying too hard because it's just so, it can be really dangerous. Um, Drew has a, he has like a knack for it and he, um, it's really interesting. I was actually paying close attention yesterday when this happened. He closes his eyes and I can tell he's just like kind of visual. He closes his eyes and just really focuses. He like kind of meditates on it. It's interesting. Um, I ought to ask him about it. I, I haven't, I haven't even mentioned this to him. He doesn't even know that I was watching him yesterday, but he closes his eyes and he feels around for the puppy and kind of gets an idea of what's going on. And then he opens his eyes and was kind of like updating me as to what um, what he was feeling and kind of, um, you know, what should we do? And then he closes his eyes again and he starts feeling around. And like before I know it, he's got some kind of hold of the puppy. And, you know, the, the tough part when you have to, um, you know, our, our vet tells us that when this happens you know, to kind of reach in and just around their shoulders and just, you know, give them, you know, a bit of a, a tug. And um, when they're breached like that, all you have to work with is their waist. And so um, you can have complications such as dislocations um, or fractures. And especially when they're breached, um, we didn't know with, with the size of these puppies, we didn't know if their heads were all, if this puppy's head was also in the birth canal. Right. Because if, if we pulled on the puppy, if the puppy wasn't coming, um, and without, without Remy really contracting and pushing, it makes it really difficult to, um, make a judgment call on how much to pull, how much to help. Because, you know, if the head is still in, um, the uterine horn, 
um, you know, you're risking injury to their necks. And so, um, it was a really scary, scary situation. We got her out after probably about 25 minutes of, of reaching for her and trying to, to grab her, uh, yeah, coax her out. Um, yeah, probably about 25 minutes and then, um, we finally got her out and she was completely lifeless. She, no breathing, no moving, nothing. So, um, of course, then we couldn't find the suction, then we couldn't find any of our supplies. Um, but we, <laughs> yeah, we, we were kind of like, all right, everything's over. But um, the one tool, the one um, medical equipment supply that we, oh yeah, that we have not needed up to this point um, is what ultimately saved her life because um, when we were trying to get her to breathe, we put the Ambu bag on her. That's that blue, the blue oxygen bag. You put the mask on their face and then you, you pump the blue. So you got to be careful with that too because, um, so that's sized for NICU babies who are about, you know, maybe a pound. Um, and these puppies are like a fraction of a pound. And so if you squeeze that, that, that blue balloon too much, you can damage their lungs because the air, you know, has nowhere to go. You can like over inflate their lungs. And so that's another, another concern. You have to be really careful with that too. Um, but we, when we were first, um, bagging her, she, we could hear all the fluid. And so, um, we have a, a really great little tool for the, this very scenario. Um, if we, Kind of like you learn in CPR class to tilt the head back um, to open the airway. We tilted her head back to open her airway and we inserted this tube down into first into one lung and then into the other lung. And um, before you do that though, because you're going to be suctioning, you have to hyper oxygenate them. And so we took the Ambu bag and we we're trying to hyper oxygenate her to give her extra oxygen before we were suctioning like all the oxygen out hey, where, where is it? on the fireplace. Oh. Um, and so, and you're also trying to move really quickly because all this, these, all these seconds and minutes are passing and she's not breathing. So um, uh, we're kind of disappointed. We didn't still have the live stream on, but it was so scary that um, <laughs> probably a lot of people would have signed off anyway. Um, uh, what was I saying? Um, so we, well, we inserted that tube and, um, it's basically like a manual suction. It's, um, we get it into one, one lobe of the lungs and it, it has holes like on the side and Drew will get it and show you guys, but it, it's not just a hole on the very bottom, like a straw. It has holes on the sides of it so that it can suction any fluid like along the way um, and it doesn't get caught. It won't like get caught on um, tissue and then stop you from being able to pull fluid out. So it's a really awesome little tool. And um, if we didn't have it, I don't think we would have been able to save her um, because we pulled out so much fluid. Uh, I don't think there is like, we couldn't have just um, bagged her with the Ambu bag and have all that fluid just, it has to go somewhere, and unless um, unless her lungs are, are more dried out, the alveoli in her lungs aren't able to expand and take the oxygen that she is gasping for, because she was gasping a little bit, but her lungs were so wet that none of the oxygen was doing anything for her. And so um, intubating her with that tube and suctioning out all that fluid made a world of difference, and um, we, so after we suction her, we bagged her again to give her more oxygen. Cause like I mentioned, when you suction them, you're not only suctioning the fluid out, but you're suctioning all the air that they do have out. Um, so we would, um, then hyper oxygenate her again with the Ambu bag. And then we would suction her again. Um, and throughout this, we're also like rubbing her really aggressively with those awesome towels Amber and, um, Amanda sent us. Um, and 
so so here's the bag I'm talking about if so like you can squeeze if you squeeze it all the way down like that it would pro you know they would probably blow out their lungs. yeah it will blow out their lungs um because they just don't have the lung capacity this is meant for you know a one pound NICU baby it's not meant for a 200 gram puppy and so it's just something to be mindful of. But her face fit perfectly in the little mask. And it had a good seal. It had a perfect yeah. seal. You got her just right in there. That's pretty cute. But um, huge shout out to Billy because Billy was our first puppy that yeah. really needed resuscitation. And it was um, when Billy almost, we almost lost Billy, that um, our friend, our nurse practitioner friend, um, reached out to us and she got these for us these this equipment because it made a it's yeah it really um it saved little miss we're gonna call her mira joe has joe suggested the name miracle for her and so we're gonna call her, her name is her nickname is gonna be miracle and we're gonna call her mira for short so um that's her nickname she's a beautiful black and tan she is so pretty um but this morning so she was for a couple of hours, we were kind of, we were working on her, um, you know, the, the second half of that was probably, you know, she was starting to gasp more frequently, but that's kind of what's, like, troubling to watch is she might be gasping more frequently, but when it's only a gasp, um, we need to give her as much oxygen with each gasp that she takes. So we were, we were up for a little while making sure she was um, improving. And then when she was essentially stable enough that we, we felt comfortable putting her down and that she would continue to breathe on her own, that was when we um, decided to get into bed and finally take a nap. Um, but uh, we, this morning, so that was about 3 a.m. And then we um, kind of throughout the morning, I was getting up and going over to make sure that she wasn't like underneath anybody just because she... Her breathing was so weak that, you know, if anybody was on top of her or kicking her, that could have been it for her. So, um, uh, we checked on her through the night and when I got up at 6.30 this morning, um, I went over to uh, see if I could latch her to nurse and she wouldn't latch. She was absolutely refusing, but she was also doing it really strong. She was really fighting me. Um, and so I checked her belly to see maybe if she was full. Um, she didn't really seem full, but I did notice that she is just a giant, she is just a really big, strong, healthy puppy. So, so, so the, the two boys, uh, the very first born was 280 grams, and the second born was the 318 gram monster female, Blenheim female. She's so pretty. Yeah, she's so pretty. Then the third was uh, a black and tan boy, mm -hmm. and he was 278 grams. Yeah. So it was 280, 318, 278, and then when we married, uh, when we uh, weighed uh, Mira, she's 288. So she's the second heaviest and like, of the litter. Of the litter, and she is just like a another tank of a puppy she really she is and um you want to take everybody in there yeah i was just gonna real quick i just wanted to show robin to you guys there she is yes. she Mr. um Jimmy. she and myra i think probably this evening both of them are probably gonna go myra like i think she she doesn't look as <laughs> this is her first litter and so i think she's just kind of oblivious to what's going on yeah. she, just, she doesn't feel well she just isn't like yeah she just isn't feeling great robin i think she kind of does know what's going on and she's just resting up oh yeah. paula that's great that's awesome she says she thought of the name mira too Aww. um let me actually let me i'm gonna take them in there okay. Oops, sorry yeah. uh. all right let's do a quick um oops, i always get this backwards There's the Missy Babies. Oops, sorry. Less than a week. I know. They're almost eight weeks old. I can hardly believe it. Um, oh, and Missy went in to greet the puppies and meet them. And 
Remy was just so proud and Missy was so respectful. It was so, it was just really, I love how cohesive our dogs are. They just, they all, they're so awesome together. Oh, here it is. Yeah, see? Yeah, there it is. So this okay, so this is the tube that we use to intubate her with. Yeah, Elizabeth took this little guy and put it down into uh, Mira's lungs. So, yeah, so this goes... And, yeah, while she did that... This goes down their lungs. Yeah, while she did that, I was sucking on this end and just like a solid... Or like a while thin, he's doing that, I'm able to kind of go around and... Vacuum out the good. Yeah, <laughs> vacuum out the good. <laughs> just... But so. we haven't had to use it yet, and so this was the first time we've ever used it, and it was a lifesaver, that literally. So cool. That's really cool. Hey there, Karen! Alright, I'm flipping around so you guys can see Remy and the babies. Oh, Carrie, you're right. There they are. Remy is such, she's being such a wonderful mom. Um, and that's another thing I wanted to emphasize, or we wanted to emphasize, is um, Remy's labor and delivery is a perfect example of why it is really irresponsible to ever let your dog deliver alone or without constant supervision. Um, yeah, nature can take care of it because... Um, nature has some real funny ways of, uh, what's the word of, no, I'm going to say that, of, um, natural selection. And sometimes it isn't the way that is necessarily needed, but, um, so our little, here's little Mira. She's got the hot pink collar on. Let's see if we can see her face. Isn't she precious? She's got the little white patch on her chin. Um, but so if, like, for instance, if Remy had been alone, if she had been alone for any part of her labor, every one of those puppies would have been, she wouldn't have been able to get them out on her own. Um, even this last one where she walked away, like, say Drew and I had been asleep, um, she probably would have gone like into another area, um, tried to deliver the puppy, and Failed. she would have been straining and straining. Um, she may have cried. You know, she was so stoic that it was really hard to tell if she was in pain because what was difficult about her delivery is that usually when when the puppies are approaching the birth canal, they're putting pressure on essentially the rectum, and so just like with people. And so when you, when they feel that pressure on the rectum, they feel like they have to poop. And so they, they push to go poop and then out comes a puppy. Except with Remy throughout the whole delivery yesterday, the puppies would, um, come to the birth canal. They'd be in the birth canal and she didn't seem to have any urge to poop. And it was really worrisome when it, at like the second puppy, when we were kind of realizing that, um, she wasn't she wasn't pushing really for any of them just very very slight pushes and a lot of the um progress that the uh earlier puppies had was just from her contractions alone it was her contractions kind of working them down <laughs> bella hart says oh little mocha look alike this is a little mocha look alike yeah i realized i put the same color collar on her too <laughs> i'm sorry sweetheart but you were crying see how feisty she is she is so feisty they're barely like half a day old. Oops, sorry. Um, why are you licking your own nipple? Ah. Oh, wow. Hey there, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hey there again, Bella. Come on. Hi, Carrie. We appreciate all you guys' support. Come on. Karen Stoddard. Come on. Thank you for becoming a channel member. Diana, it's so nice to see you again. Diana, yes, I guess. Oh my SS, nice to see you. And Paula. Oh, is it a drawing? Yeah. Um, Valerie, I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys got some sleep after how late the stream ran last night. Um, but, um, oh, what else did I want to say? Oh, uh, we, 
had some really wonderful surprises this morning. Um, first, we had a FedEx delivery of um, a giant box of Cheryl's cookies from from Jane. Um, if any of you are familiar with Ah Joe and Jean, 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 your star is back. Hey there, Melissa. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Um, da, 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 da. Oh, so we got some really, we got a giant box of Cheryl's cookies from Jane and Dieter. Um, and we've already dug into them and they are delicious. Um, May is an unsung hero. Thank you, Clive. She was, she, um, Whenever I say tell her how much we appreciate her, she'll be like, what? I didn't do that much. And so I try to explain to her how helpful it is when you're in, you know, when you're in the thick of something to have somebody who can kind of run and grab things, can hold things. Just when I didn't have Drew in here and Remy was really, she was like freaking out with the puppies coming. Um, May was able to hold her and comfort her. If they guess we're drawing. Guess what? Guess we're drawing. Um, two. No. Give you two more. Five. No, two more inches. Yeah. Oh, seven? No, it's, it's something in real life. I'll give you this. It's something you drink and you, like, shake it up. A smoothie? It, like, sprays. Um, I don't know. You would have guessed it. Oh. It was for dinner time. Oh! It was... Is it a shake? No. It was a Coca-Cola! Oh! I had three because I'm Careful not to shake too many Coca-Colas. <laughs> Why? Because they'll, they'll explode. <laughs> Shh. All right, you got to be quiet because there's new puppies right here, sweetie you pie. You can guess now. Again. Right, Bella. Bella, come on. Guess again, Mom. Come on, Bella. What? Bella, there's Remy coming, so saying hi. Or Remy, my room. How sweet is Remy? She's like, hey, don't you want to come see my puppies? Um, Jude is stunning. Isn't he beautiful? I love our Blenheim girl, too. I was We were looking at her, and I was thinking, I don't know if we've really had many Blenheim girls that have a lot of color and a really nice thumbprint. I feel like they're always boys when we have um, that, this type of Blenheim. And so, because I, I kept calling him, a, calling her a he, and it finally dawned on me that, um, it, at least to me from our experience, she just reminds me of all the boys we've had because um, our boys, whenever we have the darker Blenheims, they tend to be boys for some reason. But um, they're all doing really, really well, and... Mama Remy, she's doing really well too. Um, but, and then after these guys, she's going to go on a nice long break from puppies. Um, for anybody who may be wondering, these are macchiatos. It's macchiatos litter. Oh, they're all so beautiful. And somebody pointed out to me on our member site, and I think somebody pointed out to Drew, um, Jude has these hearts on his back. How pretty is that? And then I think there's another one if you look. Right there. But they are, um, uh, they're all doing well, and, uh, Hey there, Jazzy. Thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for joining the channel. She is a good mama. Or what a long night she had. She is very like alert and um, she's very uh, what's the word? Um, Hyper vigilant about just making sure that the puppies are are safe and you know not there's no bad guys coming through the front door 
the Blenheim does not have a nickname. So um, we only have nicknames for um, the tricolor and our puppy four. So if we have any suggestions for Blenheim girl or I'm going to call you coffee because of your collar. Um, any suggestions for these two? Uh, we are happy to to do that. Yeah, We're happy to name them. Because um, we need nicknames for them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but so, so the tricolor was first. And then, let's see, Blenheim was next. So they were in opposite horns. Black and tan, the boy black and tan was in the horn with tricolor. And which means she was in, they were in the horns together. So the two girls were together and the two boys were together um, in the womb. You're such a good girl, Remy. Ooh, Melissa says autumn for the Blenheim girl. Autumn? Yeah. Like hey, Jane. Thank you so much for the cookies. Thank you so, 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 so much. They Thank were you, such Jane. an Thank awesome you. surprise this morning. Surprise. I don't know if you've ever had those days where, um, well, of course you've had these days. So the day where you're, a lot of times this happens with like flights where you're up all night and then you have a really long day and then you're up all night again and you're just like running on fumes. And this morning, I wasn't feeling it yet, but I am now. Uh, but I warned Drew and the kids that, um, I was going to be real crabby. I could just tell. And it didn't take long. Um, but your cookies really helped. <laughs> they really, really, really helped. And then um, Juno's mom came by to pick Juno up. And she brought us our favorite drinks from Starbucks. And it was that was so nice. It could not have been better timing. Um, we appreciate you guys so, so much. Like It makes such a difference. Um, yeah, Jane and McRae, thank you. You guys have no idea how much we appreciate you. And you guys know us so well. Yeah. Um, Michelle and Vicky sent us, like, um, they sent us a couple days ago. Um, oh, yeah. Um, a box of Milano cookies. Yeah, a box of dark chocolate Milano cookies and um, Starbucks gift cards. Oh, and whoever the anonymous. Oh, gift and the anonymous was, prep yeah. freeze cook. Yeah, so it does Donor the, yeah. gift certificate for... Yeah. For a hundred bucks, or, or, I mean, it looks like a hundred dollars. Thank you so much to whoever the... Yeah, whoever you are, is. thank you. Um, Prep Freeze Cook, we discovered them when Matthew was... Um, First born. Born. Um, we were in... As much as we could be in the NICU with him, we were. If... if I couldn't be there, Drew was there. If Drew couldn't be there, I was there. If we could both be there, we were. Um... And so, and then the same thing happened when Matthew passed away. It's like when all this stuff is going on, the kids are getting microwaved chicken nuggets and hot dogs. And so it's really, really nice because Prep Freeze Cook, they, they put together like casseroles or... Real meals. Yeah, they put together a real meal with real meat and um, something that's, you know, nutritious and is an, an actual dinner that is going to fill the kids up. And so it's just nice to have that ready to ready to make um, dinner that's that's real. <laughs> it isn't just microwaved processed stuff. And so that's a huge help. Um, we're probably we're, we should run over there to make our selections and bring it home so that we can um, have our dinners for the for the week while we have this crazy first week with the ooh lunar. I like that name, Lunar. Oh, I like that. Oh, not that, but that's one that Bella is all about because the. Um, oh, Valerie says black and tan boy could be Lunar for being born under a full moon. That, that, I, who said that, Valerie? Yeah. Valerie, I was saying the same thing last night because I had to go outside for something and we had a big, bright, full moon. And I was like, man, we're going to have all the puppies tonight practically because of this full moon. Oh, oh yeah, you know what? It would make sense for us to have two litters today. Yeah. What does the moon look like today, you guys? I'm sure it's another full. 
Okay. She's a sleepy girl. Does she need to go outside? She uh, probably needs to go outside. She might get thirsty. I gave, I've been giving her food. Like, I give her, she's, she has actually eaten quite a bit. So this is um, mom's, uh, you know, 12 hours after delivery. They will not go outside if they have the choice. Um, we usually have to pick them up and carry them out because they're just unwilling to leave their puppies, which is why when um, she began pushing out um, puppy number four, Mira, um, I knew something was a little bit weird. And so that's why it caught my attention that she just jumps out of the pool and leaves her three puppies. No, that wasn't normal. Um, looking back, we're only just a little bit disappointed that we don't have that whole her whole delivery documented because as stressful as it was, it would be really awesome to be able to go back and watch it um, because we didn't know what was going to happen. And that was the most, that was the most serious delivery intense. we have ever had. Yeah, that was a very intense. And I thought we had some pretty serious delivery. Billy took the cake and um, Billy was another puppy that was born lifeless. And this one, this, this one we would not have been able to revive like we revived Billy. Billy we were able to bring back with just like a ton of stimulation. And um, I took those, um, those bulb syringes and I just, just kept squeezing air into her face so that when she did gasp, she would have a rush of air in, to take in. Um, and, uh, but we didn't have anything to suction her lungs out. And that was what that was what Mira really needed yesterday. She needed all that fluid sucked out because, I mean, there's so much you could see. Like if she's just a little puppy with these tiny little lungs, the amount of fluid that came out, it was coating her lungs entirely. There's no way, no matter how much we bagged her with the, when I say bag, I'm talking about this thing. So no matter how much we had used this, if she still had fluid in her lungs, none of it was really gonna matter. Um, so we're just so lucky. We're so lucky that we have it. We're going to have, I'm going to have to send Janessa a message yeah. and let her know that it came in handy and we, yeah, thank her so much. Yeah. So, yeah, there's no one. Thank you, Janessa. Even if you might not be watching, but hey, put Myra, that, put that out into the universe. Yeah. I will send her a message. Hey, sweetie. Daisy. She's seems really excited to be in here. She loves being in here. Well, I mean, it's more, it's not, not like uh, the usual, like, happy to be in here. It's like she's relieved, maybe, because she was, like, in the, in the kitchen. I think she wants to get away from all the yeah, crazy, the, loud. Because yeah, in the kitchen, she just is looking so mopey, and now she's looking much more upbeat. I think she still looks kind of mopey. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? I think she looks mopey. Daisy looks upbeat. <laughs> Daisy's like, I'm a beat. What do you want? What do you want? Are you going to start sneezing at me? <laughs> Drew, so Daisy started finally doing her sneezes at Drew. Because <laughs> I've always telling him about them. And <laughs> she finally started doing it to him. Because she sneezes on command when she wants something. It's... So bizarre. Yeah, if you if you mention it, then that's when she's almost. almost if like you're like Daisy, yes. you want to go outside? She'll look at you, kind of shake her head, and she'll sneeze. I, I think that's her answering the question. I yeah. Yes. Like, what do you want, Daisy? What do you want? Huh? What is it? What do you want? What is it? That uh, probably is exactly what she wants. Yeah. What do you want? There it is. Yeah. You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Daisy. You, you want to go outside? I'm oh, sorry. Oh. oh, we missed another one. There it is. There it is. You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Do you want to go outside, Daisy? <laughs> you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? <laughs> sneeze, sneeze, sneeze. Yes, I do. Does anybody else? Does anybody else have a dog that sneezes when they want something? That I, I've never, I've never seen that before or heard of it. It's not even like a sneeze; it's like a snort. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a an exhale. Oh yeah, it's like a heavy exhale. But she also does this like head twist with it. <laughs> oh, someone says, 
Myra. <laughs> Beth says, how can you not laugh at her? <laughs> Carrie says, mine does even in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, that would be so annoying. Okay. Although Daisy will do it in the middle of the night if she does have to go outside. Because yeah. if she has to go outside in the middle of the night, she will come over to really either of us. It won't even just be me. And she claws us in like in our faces. She'll claw and then she'll also do it. Yeah, and then she, yeah, does her little sneeze. Come on. Aw, Melissa says Mr. Darcy has her freckles. Aw. Aw. Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. You're so... You're Melissa, so you, um, you, you can post pictures of him on our member site. You can share pictures or videos if you would like on, on our member site. Um, all you have to do is just create a new post in the doggy forum. Um... If you go into the groups, that one is publicly viewable. Um, if you go into, if you hit the tab that says more at the top, hit the tab that says more and then go down and select forum. And then that's the private, um, the private members forums. These are the cookies from Jane. Dogs. These are the cookies from Jane. Thank you, Jane. doing oh, we got these awesome mesh gates for the bottom of the stairs they even zipper together if you want to create a bigger gate but it's for the stairs right here oh my goodness inside before we let them outside um i also need to shave robin up since we're pretty sure she's gonna be having puppies very soon um she's got a big litter in there so um you know remy we can kind of get away with not shaving her because their belly fur does thin out quite a bit when they're this pregnant um and you know remy it, it thins out primarily in the back um and Remy's only got the four, so um, we're going to wait to shave her unless she really needs it. Robin, though, um, she's going to need all of her nipples. So we're going to shave her up, and then we're also going to give her a nice trim on her behind so that we can see very well. We can see, and we don't have anything in the way there. So it's going to be a very busy day. You can probably hear the washing machine going. Right, Robin? Oh, you look so sad. You look so uncomfy. Yeah, I know, I know. In fact, I'm gonna take, oh, you know what? I'm gonna bring the puppies in here for a little bit so that they can play while the dogs are. Well, actually, I should probably check and make sure Drew is bringing in kitties. Oh, I don't know what to do. Hey, Robin. going to so I'm gonna put the phone up on the stand here I'm not sure yet um, oh you know what I will actually I'll bring this to I'll bring this to the puppies so that you guys can see the puppies hey Drew I'm gonna set this stream up on the babies okay um, the baby babies all right, we're gonna be walking in there. Daisy, you coming with? Is Remy outside? Oh, I put um, the other dogs in the Four Seasons room because they are dying to go outside. The cats are driving them crazy. So we've got quite a bit going on today. Um, 
I know I kind of rushed through a lot of information, so if anybody has any questions, um, I've kind of been updating our mods as best I can, um, so our mods might know some answers. They, um, um, we usually kind of fill them in on what's going on with the puppies and moms uh, before we before we do or say anything on YouTube. So. Um, if you have any questions, they might know, but they might not know either. So, um, uh, big thank you to our mods. Everybody be sure to say thank you to our awesome mods because they, they do a lot more than what is readily obvious. Um, you know, when you don't see them chatting in the live chat, 99% of the time they are watching um, and they're just they're some of them sometimes they will purposefully watch and not say anything because um, they want to they want to see how people are going to kind of behave or act when when nobody knows that there's a, they're on and so um, they're doing a really good job of helping keep the community um, a healthy environment to to hang out in All right Remy dog we are so proud of you sweetie probably when we do our next um, towel change we're gonna um, use some of the new towels from Amber Amanda and Letty because their towels, so like we use our gross towels for the delivery, but their towels are so nice that we didn't want to just like use them to get dirty and gross. We want to use them for the puppies to snuggle in because they're so soft. They they might as well be blankets. So, um, you know, the towels are kind of rough. If that's what's good for delivery, you need kind of a rough to get them breathing and get their blood circulating. But, um, you know, if you've seen any of our newborn puppies before, you may be familiar with how scrawny they usually look. And these guys are not scrawny in the least. Um, and, like, it kind of makes sense a little bit. If she only had four puppies, Remy's, you know, she's got a lot of room in here. And um, her puppies were, like, not quite the weight of two newborn puppies. And so her first litter was six, and they were, like, they were big newborn cavaliers, but they were not um, exceedingly big. So she had, um, I think we did the total weight. Like, we approximated that her first litter had a total weight of about 1,200 grams, meaning that each of the puppies was about 200 grams apiece. Um, whereas this litter, there were four puppies, um, and that would make them approximately 300 grams apiece. So, um, we think that there's like, she has this 1200 gram sort of weight limit that she can, that her puppies will come to. And so if we know how many puppies she's having, we could probably get a good idea for their weights. You just better not have a uh, single litter of no. two puppies. Yeah, no single litters. Right. How do you know, Jay? What, baby? How do you know, Jay? It's like a hook. Yeah, it's a hook. Hook with a hat. Like... Lowercase or uppercase? Yeah, sure. The uh, lowercase one doesn't uppercase. have the hat, it has a dot. Uppercase? Yeah. yeah. So the hook, like this, hook, hat. Yeah, like. Hook, hat. Here, Bella, do you have a piece of paper somewhere? Yeah, just like that. Come on, Bella. Let's go. Man, guys, I was so nervous to come and check on the little girl this morning because when we have a puppy who who's born like that, um, we don't know how long they've been without oxygen. Um, we don't know if any damage is sustained. When, when he and I have to intervene, <clears throat> when there's a puppy who, because she was also, oh, the other thing, she was, her sack eventually came off, and so she was getting that Velcro fur that we that um, Bolenum girl over here had that we've talked about how it's really difficult to um, pull them out because when their fur starts drying up, 
there's there the birth canal is not actively lubricating the only like lubricant in there is from the amniotic fluid and so when the sac breaks when they're still in the birth canal and that happens a lot that happens almost more often than it doesn't happen um but the thing is, is that usually the moms, when they're at that point, when the puppy is that far in the birth canal, they're having that urge to push and then they kind of poop them out because um, it feels like they have to poop. But Remy wasn't having that urge to push, that, that need to poop. And so what was happening is the puppies were getting to the birth canal and then um, they're only going so far where, you know, then she needs to take over from her uterus to kind of finish, you know, get them over that, that line. Um... And so when the sack broke and we were still trying to reach her and pull her out, but every time we reached, it was drying her out more. And as her fur starts drying out, um, you know, there's just like just a touch of moisture in there and it makes it sticky and it really, it feels like Velcro. Um, and it has the same sort of, um, like it's just, it's like pulling... It's like, if you, you know how Velcro, you can pull it apart, but instead we're trying to do this with Velcro. And doing, pulling Velcro like this is impossible. And so, <clears throat> it's just really, it's a really tough judgment call to make at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, when we've got a puppy right here in distress right now. Um, you know, we can call the vet, but sometimes, like in a situation like that, we can call him, but by the time we get some sort of, answer and know what to do, it might be too late. Um, and so, uh, that's what's, that's what's tough about those situations. Um, and you know, we, we do, we do what we can from our end, but you know, unlike with people, we don't have very many tools to check on the well-being of the puppies we don't have you know like the little pregnancy belts that the maternity wards have where they can monitor contractions and the baby's heart rate um those things they give um they give a lot of information not just the heart rate and the contractions but they they they're designed to detect distress in the puppy because the puppy or the puppy jesus they're designed to detect distress in the baby because the baby's heart rate will change um, during a contraction depending on where the cord is, how the cord is. If the baby is um, wrapped up tightly in the cord um, and you're having a contraction, you won't see their heart rate change at all. It'll just go straight, like the line. It'll, if their heart rate is a 90, it'll just stay 90. Um, and that's not good. When you have a contraction, you want to see babies or puppies heart rates go up um it's a little stressful for them on their bodies you want to see that stress um you want to see them react to it appropriately so if um, they're having a contraction and you're not seeing their heart rates do anything that's really concerning because they should be responding to it um and so that's like that's a really nice tool to have in an ob for women um and if only we had it for dogs <laughs> Um, it would give us a lot more information. Um, you know, no two deliveries are ever going to be the same. And so we're always just trying to learn as much as we can so that we can apply as much knowledge as we have to the next delivery. Um, you know, you try not to read about horror stories or... You don't want to, um, we don't want to scare ourselves, but on the other hand, we also need to know how to handle certain situations and, um, when, you know, if you're just having one litter, you know, like if you're a family who has a, um, a family pet and you want to be able to have, um, you wanted to, some families will breed their pet so that they can have the offspring of their pet um, after their pet passes away. And if it was just, if you're just having like a one-time litter, a lot of those scenarios are just really uncommon and unlikely to happen. Um, but when we are raising puppies litter by litter and, you know, when we have so many puppies, when we've had so many litters, 
there's bound to be, you know, statistics, statistics are guaranteeing that eventually something is, you know, those different various emergencies are, are bound to happen. So, um, it's just a matter of when and being prepared for it. So, yes, you had the most stressful delivery, Remy. I'm just so glad you guys are all okay. Um, we've always been big advocates of, um, of like canine whelping safety. There's, um, a lot of people kind of think that, um, the moms just kind of raise the puppies into the puppies that they become and that, um, people don't really need to do a whole lot, you know, other than, um, some of the standard stuff like, you know, changing the pen and all that stuff. And, um... We've heard, we, we have heard the families in the past, you know, kind of explain to us that, you know, Mother Nature will, will take care of it and, you know, they know what to do. They follow their instincts, so on and so forth. Um, but if Remy's lit, if Remy had not been attended, um, that first puppy never would have made it out. And the first puppy would have corked the other three puppies and especially because the other three puppies were all also too big to come out by themselves. Um, and Remy also would have passed away. So like if we had gone to sleep last night and not known she was in labor and she started having her puppies and like, let's say she walked out of our bedroom into the closet and she was quietly delivering and we just never knew we, that we could have woken up to a Remy who was no longer with us. And so that's why those situations are really scary because they can, they can turn south quickly and you need to know what to look for and you also need to be really prepared knowing like what is normal for your dog and what's not normal. Um, you know, like Remy popping out of her pool, I recognized immediately was not something that she does. Um, she hasn't gone outside to potty in a while and we're going to have to just eventually, we're just going to pick her up and take her because they don't choose to leave their puppies ever um, at this stage. They just stay with them and make sure they have everything that they need. Um, even if she has to go outside, if she has to go outside and potty, she might wag her tail when I ask her, but she still will not choose to do it. Um, and even when I do take her outside, she will come racing back as soon as she goes. So, um, I don't know, this morning seeing, seeing how well Miss Mira was doing, it was very, very reassuring. Where's the precious song? Do you want me to try and take uh, Remy out? Um, I was just thinking about that. Hey there, Nisho! Hi, Nisho! Welcome to a Saturday stream. Yes, welcome. Oops. Um, we're probably going to be having more puppies today. I don't think I'm ready. I need a nap. Yeah. May and I were supposed to be going on a shopping trip to like, we we're going to go to Kohl's, TJ Maxx. Um, we we're going to stop at Walmart for some gum. We had like a whole day planned. So we're going to actually, we were rescheduling our little date for Monday. But it's definitely um, Amber and Amanda having your towels, your blankets, I mean, oh my gosh, it was so helpful because we kind of just had, especially because we just got them, we kind of just have them kind of laying around everywhere. Um, I've got some up right here. Um, and so, but like when that fourth puppy came, we just turned around and we could reach for one and it was just, it was so nice to not be like, oh, we got to go to the dryer. It's in the dryer or, you know, it, it really took a lot of pressure and burden off to have so many supplies that were fresh. So it was a very, very clever care package. I, I can't believe you even thought of that. It was really? so thoughtful. That's like barking. He knows that puppies were born and he gets real loud. He gets like not loud, but he gets, um, he probably thinks they're his puppies because he knows he's got a litter on the way. Oh, Jude. To me, Jude looks kind of like Dexter. 
I don't know why. Maybe it's just the collar. Um, this girl. Oh my gosh, you guys. The Blenheims we've had in the past that were like this beautiful. Oh, I take that back. I take that back because we have Amelia. You know, I'm lying. We have the, the Blenheims we have with perfect, the beautiful. Uh, we do have girls. Oh. Amelia, Audrey, oh, yeah. Minnie. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think it's more like the, the way that her, the markings are just remind me of some of the boys that we've had. Um, specifically her thumbprint. But oh my goodness, she is so pretty. Isn't she pretty? Follow it to the next thing. Okay. He needs a nap before more dogs go into Uber. Should I put Andrew? Should I put Daisy out and bring Robin in? I think we can keep an eye on Robin too. Um. Robin, Roman Myra, and Remy don't get that an issue? No. Awesome. No. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with that if we want to give it a shot. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and did I brag on um, Juno's mom for bringing us caramel macchiatos? Yes. Oh my gosh. If ever there was a time where we needed caramel macchiatos delivered to our house, it was this morning. <laughs> That was so, so, so incredibly kind and generous and thoughtful. Oh, gosh. Um, McCray, you have no idea. No idea how... Well, I think she does now because I, like, smothered her with hugs. Um, but it was just really, really thoughtful. Alright, Daisy, you gotta go hang out. I'm sorry, sweetie. You're gonna get the boot. I'm sorry, you know I love you, but you know, would you want to hang out? You think she want to hang out in the guest room? Not that bitch, Russell. Uh, I, I think she wants to be with somebody. I don't understand how you would invade the kitchen.
you guys know what else uh, Juno's mom did for us? It's so nice because we have a fresh, clean one now. But she was paying attention to when um, I went to that store five below, if you haven't heard of it. Um, it's kind of like a higher end dollar store. Everything there is $5 and below. And so um, we picked up these beds. This might look a little familiar from five below a few weeks ago and they have been perfect. Cause you know, they're inexpensive, they're five bucks, um, but they're perfect for the puppies. They're nice and cozy. And they've got, um, they're like little, um, they're mini versions of that giant black cozy bed we have. And, but since they're only $5, if they get, you know, chewed up or whatever, it's not a big deal. But they are absolutely perfect for, um, when the puppies are a little bit older, we'll put this in the very middle of the, um, in the next couple of days, we'll put this in the very middle of the pool so that, and with the heating pad underneath. Um, and then Remy will kind of be able to, she'll just kind of be able to lean against the walls of the pool and the puppies will kind of just stay central in their nest. And then they can kind of, they can scoot around from side to side wherever Remy is to nurse. And so, and then they'll just kind of stay in the middle there. And they'll stay in their puppy pile, keeping each other warm. So, but, um, uh, she had offered to stop and bring one by, an extra one by, and, oh, you okay, sweetie? And it was so nice of her, I kind of, I completely forgot about that, it was so nice of her to stop and do that, so, just had to brag on her a little bit, she's so sweet. You got it, sweetie pie. So. I'm gonna take Daisy's food, I'm gonna put it in that puppy pen, and I'm gonna put the um, black cozy bed in the puppy pen because she's gonna be much more inclined to, to hang out in with that bed. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Daisy, hush. Uh, hi, oh. Missy. Missy. Daisy's actually quite content in the pen. I set it up with a couple of beds, a blanket, and gave her a pen to chew. All right, Robin, can you be nice to everybody? Can you be nice to Myra? Please, no. Can you be nice? Yeah, we can snuggle. We can snuggle and she's a baby. Want to snuggle? Huh? Want to snuggle? Oh, we got to trim your fur, too. 
I'm almost about to get an afro, so. <laughs> You're probably not gonna settle and please me. So tired from last night that I can't even keep my eyes open. You want to see the babies? Can you see the babies? <laughs> All right, she goes into the uh, bathroom. Um, well, I want to keep her away. Keep, keep an eye on her. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, let's. Um, let's back. Well, I had her right up against the pool. Let's keep, just keep her on the bed. Keep them separated. I was gonna see her with some puppies. No jumping down, Robin. You jump down, then you go back to the kitchen. Robin, come here. Bella, how about this? So, can you definitely leave? Okay. Listen, can I need to talk to you for a second? Okay. So, me and Dad really need to take naps because um, we had a really long night. But before um, I take a nap, I will read you two of your stories, okay? For, hold on, first I'm going to, um, well, I'll just, we'll, we'll read stories first. Okay. Well, I mean, just take your... Robin. I love you. Oh, I know, it's just going to reinforce. My truck is stuck. I'm, I'm going to go and put the cats back in the, in the shack. I would appreciate that. And then I'm going to let the, the dogs out. No, you probably do this in Dana Gurk. Someone made it? No, it was written by somebody. Alright. Dump truck coming down the road. Dump truck hauling a great big load. Round and round the wheels they roll. Round and round. Myra. Rotten luck can't go, my truck is stuck. Gears grind, the engine roars, but the truck won't go. Not one inch more. Help, please help. Does anyone know how to make my stuck truck go? Beep, beep. Myra. Myra. Here comes a car full of travelers traveling far. Oh, Myra, lay down. Lay down, Myra. Rotten luck can't go, my truck is stuck. Tug and tow, two engines roar, but the truck won't go, not one, one inch more. Yeah. Help, please help. Does anyone know how to make my stuck truck go? Beep, beep. Here comes a van driven by a moving man. Help, help. Rotten luck can't go, my truck is stuck. Drag and draw, tug and tow. Three engines roar, but the truck won't go. Help, please help. Does anyone know how to make my stuck truck? No, Robin, do not jump. You are way too big to be jumping down off here. In fact, Robin, why don't you lay down this Hold on, dog. Robin, you wait. Wait, wait, wait. Me. 
Robin, and you wait. Oh, you got puppies behind you. Robin, you wait. You are such a good girl, Robin Dog. You are such a good girl. I need to check Robin real quick to make sure she doesn't have a puppy in the boat kind of thing. Robin, you wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I think Robin's gonna start having her puppies pretty soon. Fucking Don't get it. Fucking Is it how it does? Um, fucking
I don't know how the fuck is on the camera. She's getting the
the vacuum. I do, but there needs to be clippers. There needs to be clippers. And she's gonna... Do we bring a big uh, people bring like the wander into our uh, closet? Hot up, then we go cave or something. done with it all. I just, I want to keep, like, the leftovers still. Oh, okay. So I'm going to use it for dabs.
time that I've been sitting here with her, the puppy has advanced. Oh my gosh. Mom. I have memorized the whole fitness gram paper test thing. Oh yeah? The fitness gram paper test is an aerobic capacity test that gets progressively harder as time goes on. You're so funny. I can see a Robin's veins. I get to think. These are the three we need. Alright, how many times do I have to go? One. <laughs> Maybe do more, baby. Oh, my God. No. 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 Some of them fall, uh, you don't. Instead of whelping in there, do you want to move Remy's puppies in there and whelp in the bedroom? And, you, and I don't taunt you by moving it. Then it's not good for either. So
You cannot be arguing and playing over by the puppies right there. If you want to play, that's fine. Go oh. to the living room. We have newborn puppies and a new mom right there. But no. But if you want to go play in the living room. You can. No, you. Ryan's in labor. No. Guys, go play in the living room. Put those scissors down. Guys, can you get. Can you get the. Can you get the. The tree? Huh? I said, can you get the tree? I do not want this to be. Play nicely. such a good girl for you. Just hiding. Caterpillars do that. He's probably in the lid.
like a balloon. We can do it right now. Three. To get the living room. Make the vote. I've been sorting. The shots. The, um, the ID buddies, buddy ID, whatever. The, yeah, out there. I know, I'm sorry. You're not gonna like when we put that there, I'm sorry. I promise it's nothing to hurt.
Anybody who's on the live stream, I'm gonna be I'm gonna turn on the one for Missy's puppies here in a second. So if you wanted to check out Missy's puppies, I'll turn that stream on so you guys can see them. So Jeff is going to come get May, and then they're going to go and pick her up? Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. Thank God. Alright, Matthew Robin. Thank you. Beautiful Robin, darling. Hi, right. hey, my Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do her tail like... Yeah, I put her up though. Oh, she knows she's... She knows it's time to get in the pool. You are such a good girl, Robin Dog. You know what we get shaved up for. No! Okay. No, 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 no,
She's probably going to be a difficult delivery because she's going to be like Remy was her first time. Like, she can't stand for me to check anything. and stuff. She is really, really sensitive. Like, if I was trying to take her temperature right now, I wouldn't be able to. Yeah. So, she's also real swollen and reverse now. So, like, I, no, I don't think anything's in there. I think that puppies are moving. They're approaching. Robin's got a puppy that's there. there, and I think that she's just had enough litter that she's not going to squat and push until it's time to push the puppy out. And I think she's just going to patiently wait in the meantime. What? I think she's just going to patiently wait in the meantime. But she's leaving Remy alone. Um, so both Robin and Myra seem to be advancing quite spectacularly. Um, 
I wrapped Robin's tail, but it's kind of coming undone. So I might have to redo it. Um, I shaved Robin up. Um, when I feel her birth canal area, um, it's very swollen. Um, there's a lot of pressure there. So I think that the, the puppies are kind of lining up and they're approaching the birth canal. Myra is kind of in the same sort of boat, just not quite as advanced. I think that Robin is just a little bit ahead of her. That's right, too. That's kind of coming off. I'll just, I have to, I'm going to have to redo it. No, I can fix it. No, Bella, just leave it. Please just leave it alone, Bella. Alright, Bella, let's read your story. Bella. Sweetie, this has been a really, really long day, and I really want to be able to take a nap before we start having puppies again, and time is quickly disappearing. Bella, come on. If you want to read one more story, then you, you need to hurry, because I've got to take a nap. Come on. No, 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 no. No, just leave it. Okay. I'm just sorry. Come on. No, no stampers. You ended up stamping your entire face last time, so we're not going to do stampers. Mom is being serious today. We're not joking around the whole lot and doing a bunch of crazy stuff. We're gonna... I'm not joking. I know, but I kind of let you go a little overboard with stampers yesterday. Alright, you need a unicorn. You need you. Yeah, like yours. In almost every way, Uni is like all the other unicorns. Magnificent mane, though Uni's was extra magnificent. Golden hooves, though Uni's were extra golden. Sparkling purple eyes, though Uni's were extra sparkling. Like the other unicorns, Uni had a special swirly horn with the power to heal and mend. And like the other unicorns, Uni could make wishes come true. But there was one thing that definitely set Uni apart. Uni believed that little girls were real. Uni's friends laughed and said, Ha ha ha, silly Uni. Everyone knows there's no such thing as little girls. They're just make believe. At home, Uni's parents just brushed it off with knowing smiles. But Uni was certain, absolutely certain, that little girls were real, no matter what everyone said. Uni knew that somewhere far away, but not that far away, there was a little girl waiting, a strong, smart, wonderful, magical little girl, and she would be the best friend a unicorn could ever ask for. Uni imagined all the things they would do together. Robin. Sorry, right, Bella, I just don't want Robin and Remy to get angry with each other. Robin, you stay here. You stay in your pool. Oh. Stay there, unless you want to come get in bed. You want to come get in bed? Okay, well, your tail wrapping is kind of a joke, so I'll just take that off. I'm just going to go in bed. All right, Belle, let's finish your story. Good girl, Robin.
Hello. Yeah. Hello. Are you some manners? <laughs> They would run fast through the meadows. There she is, the little girl. Like right now? Mm -hmm. here. They would spin and twirl in the sunlight. They would explore and help forest creatures in need. Other times they would just sit, Phil, are you listening? Other times they would just sit quietly and talk about important things. And of course, of course, of course, they would slide down the rainbows together. Aww. Uni fell asleep that night and had enchanted dreams. Aww. What Uni did not yet know, what would discover soon enough, was that somewhere far away, but not that far away, there was indeed a real little girl. <gasps> Remy, what's up? What do you need? Remy, do you need to go potty? Do you need to go outside? And even though her friend said, ha, 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 unicorns are just make-believe. And despite her parents' knowing smiles, this little girl was certain, absolutely certain, that there was a unicorn. A strong, smart, wonderful, magical unicorn. Just waiting to be her friend. And then I'm going to take a nap. Uh, but Robin, you're going to come with me because I don't trust you alone from me.
Make your rolls. Puppies. If you're gonna go relax and eat some popcorn, go do that. Yeah. Robin, are you okay, sweetie? Mom, I am. You do not lean on the gate. <coughs> Bring your mouth on your claw. Who told me, Mom? That's a Robin. Mom, can I watch Frozen? And she's wanting to go outside. I'm gonna check her real quick just to make sure she's. May relax, relax. We can't have like a rushed. I know. I was just going in here. I know, but everything's very stressful, and so I just I don't want it crowded and everybody. Annabella, no, stop, sweetie. You need to go to the living room. Oh, I just told her she could literally eat her popcorn in here. Shut up. Um, so, I'm a puppy dick now that she's sleeping. I'll take her outside so she can go potty and whatnot. Come on, Myra, you can come too. Come on. Come on. We cannot watch it on the TV in here. Mm -hmm. We will get in trouble with YouTube. You can watch it on your TV in your bedroom. Or your iPad. Mom, or you can watch it in the basement. Mom. What? There's a word telling in the basement. Remember? Then we can put you on Mommy Network. No, like on the living room TV. something else.
Keep your headphones. We have to live stream that and hear it again, so we're going to have to have your headphones if you watch right here. No, but what do you need from Dad? Is there something I can do? My headphones. Oh, um, are they, would they be in your room? They weren't. Would they be in the living room? Check. Or in the basement? Ooh, could they be in the guest room? Why? Because you were hanging out down there? You can go check, Bella. This. How about you go downstairs and take a nap? Go to the basement, take a nap. I'm gonna like do dinner and I'll be coming and checking on them. No, I just, I, go do. I'm go. trying to. Uh, like, okay, I really wanted to uh, still spend time with the kids. And whenever I read the whole story, it's just like it's. Like, you are a fantastic. I'm mom. not gonna be able to relax without like Robin, like in the four seat. Bella! What are you looking for? Her phone. Her phone's right here. Why can't I hear Well, she was looking for you. You know what, though? I think I actually might do that because as much as I might worry about Robin, I'll probably be a lot worse off if I don't take a nap. Yeah, you will. Exactly. At least you have May to. The, the oh man, yeah, that's a pre pre delivery poop. Yeah, but it, it, it's isn't it usually like when she's pooping by now, like if it's incoming, that it's gonna be a lot softer, like it's gonna be like really gooey. No, because yeah. she went from so solid oh, to, to so loose, uh, and that what that tells me is she's gonna be yesterday yeah. her bowels were moving normally, and within the last twelve hours they it's sped a, their fuck up. So that's probably all is consistent with her temperatures and all that stuff. Myra. She's like textbook going into labor. Myra didn't do anything. Um, come on. All right, Myra. Here's my. 
You're in here, sweetie. Yeah, this is going to be your labor and delivery area. I guess you can really chill on the bed. Until Robin well, starts. I was kind of hoping we could just leave everybody here and then move them when they're... Oh, yeah, we could do that. Do you want to read the live stream for a fire? No. Oh, no, no. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Like, if we can get her... That would be good for me. Her puppies well, so we can move her puppies into there, her and Nick, and then get hopefully if, if Remy will or Myra will last. We could just put the pool on the other side of the gate. Yeah. And we'll Robin there. Yeah, good. Okay. That's not a bad idea. Because I mean, they're, they're getting along in here, and as soon as Robin has her own puppies, when she's in labor, she's not gonna give a care. Like she's not gonna care about Remy. She knows Remy's tending to her own puppies, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, they are under labor. They just don't give a flying yeah. one about yeah, they're doing. Doing. Like she's gonna. Hey, Robin, you are about to blow. You just, do you want? Do you want this uh, little one on this side over here? Yeah, yeah, I would say just put it over there. Okay. Yeah, she's having contractions and everything. Oh, shit. I want that. Then go now. I will tell you once she starts, because she's not, she's not at the point where she's doing the <laughs> and like coming up and like looking at you for answers. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it can still be three hours. Yeah, yeah exactly. I can deliver Missy, you can just deliver Exactly. <laughs> I can deliver probably. Well, I, I do want to be, I want to, I want to see some of her delivery, because I'm so excited for her puppies, but it won't be the end of the world if I miss the first one or two. Right. Unless, of course, though, if there's an emergency, you know. Right, yeah, of course, if there's an emergency, then like, <laughs> just while you're doing that, just make sure you have your eye on her. Oh, I saw that. Wouldn't it be hilarious if Robin started delivering right at 7? Because that's what I told May this morning. When I gave estimates, I said, Myra this afternoon and Robin, Robin like seven. I turned on the oven because I was running. We got more steaks that I thought that needed to be cooked, so I'm going to do that. Aw, oh, look at Remy hugging her puppies. Is she hugging them? Yeah. Oh, geez. We've got to make, we got to do a better setup in here. This is just like, What's wrong? it's just bare pool. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, let's, let's put the blanket down for her. Well, it's wrapped. It's. It looked like. It looked to me like you had wrapped up the heating pad, so I had left it. Uh, Oops! I got an idea. Oh wait, we don't need. We don't need Amber's towels just yet. I'm gonna put this blanket back in. This was the pre-delivery blanket that she snuggled in. Um, if you are. Keeping an eye out for Robin, folks. Robin is right. Let's see if I can turn this around, by the way. She's right here. She is very much um, going into labor. She's got the panting. She's got the the temps. She's got the behavior. She's clingy. She's nesting. She's all of the above. So. Um, if you can hear us in the background, we've been getting her ready and everything set up. I shaved up her, her belly, um, and I did wrap her tail, but she just kind of chewed it off. So once she's pushing out puppies, we'll rewrap it, and she won't give a, you know what about it. Oh, Robin, don't jump up there. Hold on. Let's see. Um, but she's, uh...
she is, um, she's got puppies approaching the birth canal. <clears throat> and she is like really swollen, you know, back here, right where, you know, Remy was. Um, and Drew showed me a picture of the poop she just pooped. And um, right before they start having puppies, again, a lot like people, they um, they empty their bowels. They kind of clear out their bowels to make room for the puppies to pass. And her poo was pretty much her bowel. It was, she emptied her bowels. They're coming, they're coming. Can you smell? Uh, Do you want to pull some of the towels out? Yeah, I'll just put this blanket back in. It's clean. It's just clean this one. And then the heating pad is. I don't know why it wouldn't be, because I hit it on the 24-hour setting. We're really busy, May. We're all really busy. Robin is and I still want to take a nap. I've been trying to take a nap for like the last five hours. Let's see. Oh, I think they're still a little younger than us. It's funny because when you said that Mara's having puppies today and she's going to be next, I instantly got that feeling that Robin was going to be next. Mm -hmm. Yep, she's going to be next. It's really so that pops them out. There's a shave of her belly and her backside. And then right after I finish that, she'll start painting. Oh, I don't know if seriously I can take a nap because I don't want to stop for like three hours. From like three and six this morning. Yeah, I imagine we're going to deliver Robin and then soon after Robin, we're going to deliver Myra and it's probably going to be an all nighter. Yeah, if you guys want to watch it, I'm I know, um, well, we don't really, we don't usually need help watching. I know, but you guys are going to be very tired of this much. Well, not really, but it's, because we'll usually, we'll do, um, we 
would take care of everybody like, in one sitting. That wasn't good enough. But we'll, we'll see how it goes, and we will ask for your help as soon as we need it. I, I, I can even tell Dad that um, I'm so exhausted that I'm not really that concerned about making it for Robin's first or even second puppy. I'm really excited to see to be here for her litter, but she's gonna have a big one, and so if you could just make sure you were available to help Dad. Um, and then, of course, if you guys need anything, come down and get me. But, um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, but it would be extremely, that's how you can help. It would be extremely, extremely helpful if, um, you could just put a on standby for Dad while I'm napping. Because, um, we're not gonna, I'm not going to be able to get through tonight with Myra if, because even if I was not panting, that 98.8 is not going to those puppies in for long. Why do I feel, though, that um, we had one dog that had a real steep decline like that, but then also like went another 24 hours before doing it? And... The only dog that when it went to the 98s was Pom Pom, and that was when I took her to the doctor kind of last minute to see if maybe she was going to labor, and she was. And she was 98 six. And how long after? Like three hours. Not even. Like an hour and a half. It was like... Thank you for your help getting this set up. I hope that that was helpful. What's going on, baby? Your pups are all fussy fussing. You okay? You are really heavy in the rear. Do you think Robin came and uh, and Jenny can tell that Maya's pregnant? And like very pregnant? Um, I don't know. Because usually Robin and Jenny would be like growling at them, growling at her. Very full nipple.
searching? Are you searching for a nipple so now? It's right there. Oh, you're, you're thinking about it. You're snoodling. You're close, snoodles. It's over here. It's over here, snoodles. Come on. Come on, snoodles. Bella, you need to take that stuff to the living room, baby. Um, we're calling this one Mira. Who? The last one born is Mira. Short for her. Miracle. Oh, no, miracles. Come on, sweet boy. Oh, yeah, but this one we brought back. She was like a goner. Come on, that's right there, baby. Just open your mouth and you'll be right there. Lots of milk right up. Okay, I'm sweating. So I came down and I thought that was real. I was surprised when I saw something happen to her. Come on, baby, it's right there. Myra, right, come on, baby. Can you go close the door, please? Come on. Come on, let's get your ass to the door. Just scrunch milk in it. You'll be really happy, I promise. so strong. You are so stinking strong, you know that? I know, you don't like it, but... Yeah. It's fine, yeah. Remy. Sorry, but we're going to have to pop you up for that. Come on, sweetie. Your nose is all... You're so stinking close. Sorry, I didn't mean to pop you off like that, but... Why is your sniffer not working? You're going the wrong direction. life of you. Mira does not like elbows in her eyes.
this for you. There you go. You can use the stairs. you guys. You guys going and having some adventures? Huh? You gonna have adventures, bud? He's okay. He's okay. He was just under the blanket. He was just under the blanket, huh? Oh, spot, huh? Oh, Jude. Mr. Jude. Dude, it's okay, bud. You want a nipple? Three, right? Oh, oh, oh. He's okay. He's okay. I think he just wants you. really awesome nipples right here is the bowl of milk.
between the big scratch and the case in that golden thing. Oh, and she started bumping up a boy. Um, her name at the store? Yeah, she did like once or twice. She growled and bumped. That was a problem.
tonight? Can I check you? Can I check you? It's alright, you don't have to go up the stairs. Can I check you? I know. Can you stand up for me? Stand up. Please. Okay, my God. Do I have to do this? Are you sitting down? I'm not going to take your temperature, I promise. I'm not going to take your temperature. Alright. What the heck? Laura, can you stand up? I can't. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not taking your temperature. I'm not taking your temperature, yeah. a good girl. Sue, I was just checking the live chat and saw you uh, ask who's going first. I'm not sure. I'm sure. I or I'm not sure. I think Mom could uh, give you a more educated guess. Um, but with the way they the dogs are acting, I my guess would be Myra.
Robin. Robin. Myra, I want to hug you.
What's going on? What do you need? Why? Come here. I don't know. I haven't been able to figure it out. She's been whining and, and up, working at the door. And do you want to come out? Is that it? Uh, dinner's ready, so. Yeah. Hmm. How about you two? Me, you. How about we get you guys? What's up, baby? Do you need to go outside? Are you feeling the need to poop? Is that what's going on? That's what I was thinking. Okay, well. But I felt it and it didn't seem, or at least I didn't feel it. I didn't feel a puppy unless. Oh, well, it's just, it's that. Oh my what are you guys doing over here? They've been traveling a little bit. Yeah. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, let's see. Come on, Robin. Come on, Robin. Come on, Rufus. Come on, Robin. Come on, come on Robin. Come on, Robin. Come on, Come on, Robin. Come on, squeal. Come on, go. lately and she's been whining uh like on the bed wherever i put her she's been whining. you're not close come on let's go to the kitchen you guys can hang out
two boys and I got right. And I can't tell you you got wrong. Right? Yeah, what number did you guess?
sleep, okay? You just have to put your head there. My goodness, look at you guys go. Look at you go. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Mira. Good girl, Mira. What's up? I don't care. Hey, Annabelle, no, no running in here, Bella. Bella, no. Fine, like it's almost like things went in reverse. So when Daddy put that dress on the doll, Daddy was was the luckiest. Daddy yeah, like, <laughs> Why is her tummy gurgling? That was a good gurgle. You hear tummy uh, chewing up the soup. Wait. Is that a cookie? It tastes like a bread. No. Oh, mm. well, those cookies. Those are not those cookies. Oh, those cookies. Oh, you want one of the cookies like what mommy has? Yeah. Oh, you want one of the Milano cookies. Mm. The Alyssa Milano cookies. Milano? It's like, exactly like a brownie. Mm. That is like, like cool. Exactly Mondo. Yeah. Exactly Mondo. Exactly like the cookie. Like My dad did too, but he didn't do it like, he didn't say it like that much, just like every now and then. How's uh, little girl doing? And how's so it took me a minute and I really had to kind of like fight her. <laughs> Really had to kind of fire, but I got her onto one of the gigantic rear nipples. They, so they do. I have not been able to latch any of them onto the rear. The, the giant rear. I, got I, get the, I can get them to latch onto the small rear, but I can't get them to latch onto the giant I on, on, I got one on one and one on the other at the same time. Oh, and um, you know my weird thing about like we haven't had girls that look like her. It's not the amount of coat color, it's the way the coat color, or the way the chestnut is. Mm -hmm. So, I had it backwards. You know how earlier I was saying that we haven't had girls with, like, black? Yeah. I had it backwards. It's the boys that we have, like, have, 
really not that they don't have a lot, but that they have this amount. Uh, this, like, um, evenly spaced. Right. Like, like 50 50. Uh, um, Jesus. Is Mara struggling? Billy, when Billy was born, Billy at least had normal delivery. You said Billy. Billy from Google Fox. Mm -mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's like the kind of dessert that you would pair with vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Or the kind of dessert we would eat on Christmas Eve while doing our pajama hunt. Mm, I love Christmas time. Me too. I, I I've thought about it three times. <laughs> mm. yeah. All through the puppy screen never turned on. Okay, so where is your...
guys, I'm so sorry that we didn't turn on the stream for the little guys today. Um, I was going to, and then I completely forgot about it. And then Drew talked me into going and taking a nap down in the guest room, and I fell for it. <laughs> God bless him because he's so sweet. But I got to take like an hour and a half nap. So that was really awesome. But I didn't turn on the puppy stream, and I feel terrible. So I'm really sorry. I'll make sure we do that tomorrow.
Myra, come here, sweetie. Mommy's been whining a lot. Or at least when I was How'd she do? Because she had a true temper on us. Uh, Myra, Myra has been acting like she's like... Would yours would be a daisy thing where she wrestles all night and delivers for sleep in the morning? I think that's what I'm not going to look. Is this going to happen? Because, like, there's nothing like... Or that's what Pom Pom did. Stop! Most recently, Stop. Daisy did it too, but Pom Pom was recently... She was restless all night, weren't sure who was going to leave her. She thought she was, and she wasn't. Stand up. Stand up, Bella. Okay. So you can help me open it, please. <laughs> you shouldn't need to be doing this. Is Daddy getting you to behave just by looking at you? That's kind of awesome. <laughs> And she was looking past me, and I was like, what is she looking at? And I looked up, and he was like, give her the, the dad stare. Because I never do anything, though. Huh? Bella, stop kicking. Oh, you're going to go up to your room, no iPad. Let's no bedtime snack. Let's your nose. Yeah. Oh, dad was thinking right what I was thinking. Stand up. Bella, I can't believe it. Stand up. Three. Three. Man, I would Two. But my sleepiness. You are so pretty. Blow your nose. Now. Bella, no. no, no, blow. Blow. Come on, blow that thing. May, would oh, you be hey, willing to sleep with Daisy too tonight? Harder. What? Would you be willing to sleep with Daisy too tonight? Blow. Yeah, I would, but she probably won't. She probably won't blow. like it, but why not? She would love to. If her, I try to get it. Well, when she realizes that her only other option is in the laundry room with everyone else. What about for Abba, though? Oh, maybe she's looking for Abby. But when she realizes that's her option, she'll probably Bye. be like, okay, yeah, this is better. Okay. That's a good challenge. <laughs> that was a good challenge. Alone. Look up. Look up. All the other dogs Cousins. are alone. <laughs> Listen up, child. But she's my baby. You're doing bad. Do you want Paris to. Woo. I always try to give Paris lots of extra attention when you're not here. I don't care if she's. <laughs> I 
Like, I want to sleep with her, but I don't, I don't care that much if she sleeps down there for one night. you a snack. What is it you wanted? Oh, you wanted those chocolate cookies.
Christmas was so cute years ago when you guys would be in your room all day and uh, and uh, I would come in and ask a question and then, uh, and then I would go out and think of another question so I would keep doing that. Oh yeah. And I didn't. We're, we're freaking on this. <laughs> and I didn't realize why why like. Why it was I wasn't thinking of, of the questions until I just left your room. <laughs> come on, girls. Oh, Robin, goodness. come on. Robin, Myra, come here. No, come on. Come They've on. been so sweet, so sweet. Yeah, they have. They've been, been such a fun pair. Robin, Robin, come Myra, on. girls. Come on, girls. Right, hey. <laughs> oh, you want mama? <laughs> come on, Robin. Come on, Robin. Come on, baby. I want Robin. Come on. Let's go to bed. Come on. Oh. Robin, good girl. Oh. Water, 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 water. Poor Robin. Oh, there's my kitty. I water. love you. You're such a good girl. And always oh, on water. That's exactly what I was thinking. Do you have any grapes? Water, water. What Did you there? ask if you had any grapes? Oh. <laughs>
two months back when we had grapes and uh, I was getting some and I dropped one and uh, and I was really frantic trying to get it and you're like, why are you, why are you? Uh, was that the one that went underneath the? Uh, Go ahead. The, <laughs> 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 Come on, Robin. <laughs> Come on, balloon. <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay. you're such a good girl. I'm so sorry for laughing at you. Well, if I'm such a good girl, then lift me up under this thing. I Stop am gonna lift you up, you precious thing. I'm oh, always, dear. I'm always worried that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, hurt a puppy's head whenever I, whenever I. I thought it was gonna hurt a puppy's head when we were pulling them out. Oh my god, that was terrifying. I, my god, like, I swear my heart was not beating when you were pulling out the fourth one because it just felt like his head was, her head was like anchored in her in there. When I, when I would try to pull her out, it just felt like, it felt different from the other breech one because it was a little more loose. Yeah. It was more about getting a grip, whereas I felt like she was corked in there more. Yeah. You're such a good girl, Robin. I love you so much. They don't do. They wouldn't do this to me. They will when they're pregnant. They don't need to do this to us either. No, they didn't. No, I was in here when uh, when you left until dinner, and they didn't. They just sat on the other side of the bed. Well, they don't need to do this to us. Let's so probably leave her for the rest of the night. We've got Robin and Myra in bed. They are so pregnant. <laughs> They're so sweet. Mom? Yeah. I can't tell. Let's see. What? Oh. Uh, see, I don't know. It's really annoying. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to stress about that stuff right now, actually. Mm -hmm. I, I love you? everybody on our lives. They, um, they're, they're... Yeah, I'm happy that you guys might have been turning in.
This is what you're supposed to be having. Yeah, I've been your own. <laughs> no, I, a night where I don't have to, where I can spend, where I can just lay in bed with, with someone that I could talk to for hours and somebody that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. nice. Yeah, I'm just will. alone during the night. to do it in the morning. I'll do it in the morning. Then we don't mm. procrastinate. Love you. Well, I hope you have a relaxing evening. Huh? I hope you have a relaxing evening. You said you wanted a relaxing evening or something. I get comfortable because it's sleep with me, so it's fine. The dog up there.
professional's job. She said that it's cold upstairs at night in your bedroom. Yeah. I mean, if it's cold up there, then if it's cold up there, then it must be cold down here because the kids are usually.
crying for me now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my god, dogs. Why? Why me? Why me? Yeah, what does that? Remember, like, you look at your ranking, and then you hit the thing at the bottom that says feed now to stay number one. When you hit that, it actually uses food and feeds. Oh, I know. And then sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Crazy.
point of headache, you know, and heavy yeah. pulls me for you. That's the labor, the labor bringing. Because compare her to Myra. Yeah.
I'm about like 2 a.m. It's gonna be like right after we go to the circle and sleep. Which is, it'll be like pom pom. Should we go to bed early then? Mm-hmm. 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 Or should we just have it like, um, I mean, we say we had a really ants tonight.
stream is still on. I just turned it around. space for him because I mean my family is very nice and And he is not feeling the same way you are. (laughs) Hello guys. Hello sweetie. Hi. I'm sorry that you were going today.
with the pajamas that I wore last night and um, took shut off the light and got cut her in. But she loved my pajamas.
down. I wonder if I could bring these even and just put her under the covers and hide her from Robin. Say yeah. I wonder if I had to, if I could bring these even and just slip her under the covers and hide her from Robin. I wonder if what we did last time. I wonder if they could get along together if like I don't know. Her acting this way. Her acting right now, she didn't care. Oh, the Daisy Monster, that's what we did. Yeah. Not the monster. She's not like upset. Stop. Robin. Robin. Be nice. Be nice. Robin is going to start having puppies. We need to have a very close eye on her. I was going to put dogs out and go hide one last time. I was going to lower put everybody to bed like in the laundry room and maybe she was going to go in the laundry room. Oh, Daisy? that Robin like doesn't mind Fire at all, but Daisy, it's like ever since they had their second litters, they hate each other. Yeah. Especially when they're pregnant. So at least when when Missy when it was Missy were here, when, as long as we had Daisy like out of sight, she didn't care. She knew she was there, but right. as long as she left her alone, she was fine. I really thought maybe Robin would do the same, but she's panting so hard though.
Good girl, Ray. It's okay, Mom. It's just little puppies, huh? Let's see you. Here. Let me help you here, Mocha. They're just little puppies. Yeah, they're just little puppies. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We're just looking. We're just looking, sweetie. No, it's okay. It's okay, Remy. Remy, it's okay. All right, why don't you bring me back? These two are sitting here like, oh, this will be an awesome show. <laughs>
I do pay them. Once I go to value your permission, you get in the front of the sleeve. I think Daisy settled down. She's outside. Oh. <laughs> No. No. Well, unless Robin starts pushing out puppies, yeah. I'm gonna call her to the bank. Anyway. Maybe Daisy could use use some company from Malta.
and Remy never painted before labor. She did. And I wonder if, because remember her first labor, she had a difficult first labor too. Yeah, she did. So we shut off the live stream. Yeah. Um, and I think the deliveries ended up being okay, but it, I remember that it was a lot of work. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, she did push. I remember that same problem, her not pushing. Yeah. And so I wonder if she, we might, because when we gave her the oxytocin, it was like the perfect amount. Yeah. Like, we gave it to her, she just had a few contractions, and it helped us get the puppy out. Yeah. Um, so maybe she almost, it's like she needs labor induced. Right. And she needs like a pit drip. Oh, yeah. That's what women have, you know. Because when you are induced labor, you have to continue the pit drip through until the delivery. Maybe Your body doesn't take over. He said, as long as you know that a puppy is coming. Ah, jeez. And then we can give it, I think it was every 20 minutes, but not like to set when a puppy's born then to give it a break. Okay. You know, want to wait for the next puppy to engage. a year ago with Rana and you couldn't sleep at night because she was painting all night long. Oh, uh, that's Do you right. remember that? Yeah. That's kind of around when I started using um, the noise canceling right? Yeah.
She's getting uncomfortable too. Yeah. You know, she's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What are the odds that they are going to have the puppies at a very same time? Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course. By the way, you did a very nice job setting up the, because it's really, really nice, the closet with the pool. Um, it fits really nicely and it'll be, it'll work out nicely. And then I like how we just had this gate up and so the, um, the moms are separated, but we're both, in, we're still in the same room. So I just want to tell you that it was nice and you did a good job. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And like it, it's like such a good setup that... <laughs> It made me think like maybe this won't be so bad. <laughs> like I'm kind of looking forward to it because if we have if all of them have puppies at like the very same time, they'll they'll go they'll develop together and so the moms will be used to being together. Yeah. It won't be like introducing them when they're two weeks old. Right. And so we'll have Robin in the closet where there's the glass door, so she'll be able to see.
Tangle party. Mm, we doodles, we gotta take Mama outside to party. Come on. Am I bringing on a tangle party? Oh, and our first puppy yesterday was born at 737. Ah. The second one was 1010.
opposed to good doggies. Good doggies, good doggies. No, that's not good doggies. Yeah. Yes, I'll pick you up. I know you don't want to use the stairs. It's, they're so heavy that you sink on the stairs. I fixed your blanket for you. What's that? Yes. Tell her when she's being very good by restraint. She really wants to go see those puppies. And she's just sitting up here watching them. I want to show you guys how Robin is watching the puppies. <laughs> There's Robin.
Hey everybody, we're going to shut off the live for now in case Robin and... Uh, yeah, we're going to jinx it. Shutting off the live means she's going to start having puppies. <laughs> we're going to try and get some rest, so... I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching the pups and... and the new, the new crew. But I'll uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Sleep well.